This video will provide a brief overview of how to use the Table Extremes Report Filter in Visual Analysis. Let's get started. Three cantilever columns have already been created in Visual Analysis. In the dead load service case, negative 5, negative 10, and negative 15 kip axial loads have already been applied to columns 3, 2, and 1 respectively. In the live load service case, negative 4 kips was applied to column 1, no loads have been applied to column 2, and 8 kips have been applied to column 3. In the load case manager, dead load only and live load only load combinations have been created to produce simple results. In the results view, the dead load reactions and live load reactions can be seen which are equal and opposite of the applied loads. To view a report for these reactions, we can switch to the report view where two copies of the node reaction tables have already been added to the report. We see that all the reactions are reported for both tables since in the selected tables extreme section of the selected table tab, the extreme rows parameter is set to show all. Checking the box changes the setting from show all to extreme rows only. Now we see that the maximum and minimum reactions are reported for all of the nodes in the second table which was selected. Right now, the included rows parameter is set to report the maximum and minimum which are 15 and negative 8. We can change this parameter to report the maximum only of 15, the minimum only of negative 8, the max and min when the sign is opposite, which for this case shows 15 and negative 8 since they are opposite in sign, and the extreme, which is 15, since this is the result with the largest magnitude. Reporting the results in this manner is useful if we are only worried about the extreme reactions for all of the nodes in the model. If we want to report the extreme reactions for each node in the model, we can simply switch the applies to parameter from table wide to by object, where the objects in this case are the nodes. Now we see the extremes of 15, 10, and negative 8 are reported for each node instead of only the extreme of 15 being reported for all of the nodes. Switching to min max opposite sign, we see that node 1 only reports 15 since 4 is positive and does not have the opposite sign of positive 15. Also, node 2 only reports 10 and does not report 10 and 0 since the consider 0 as extreme parameter is disabled. Switching this parameter, we see 0 appears for the minimum of node 2. Switching the included rows to min, we see that 0 is the minimum for node 2, but if we turn off the consider 0 as extreme parameter, we see that 10 becomes the minimum. We can also report the maximum or the maximum and the minimum for each node. These table extreme options are available for many report tables and visual analysis. Give it a try for yourself. If you do not have visual analysis, head over to our website and download the free trial. Thanks for watching and have a great day.